happy winter it's uh it's really exciting i'm uh getting to make this video that i've been uh wanting to make for now it's been a year but uh, let me tell you a bit about it is uh when i first bought my boat it was pretty bare bones didn't have any uh didn't have any of those extra accoutrements so to speak and since i'm on the perpetual shakedown practicing for going out to the ocean i wanted to kit it out and I decided to buy one of those uh, Ray Marine sail packs, and that's the uh, that's the uh, um, the digital you know um, displays for your depth and your speed and all that stuff. And uh, I have a tiller, so there's no place to mount it on the pedestal. So I decided a firewall mount would be the best solution here, and uh, I sourced. Uh, mounts for it because you want them to the firewall and the catalina is you know bent at an angle and i wanted them pretty much straight up and down um so i wouldn't get that glare so i sourced uh custom blocks and they were quite expensive 500 bucks a piece that's what the displays cost for the ray marine so i decided to make it myself and i made these uh this blocky solution and frankly i've been sailing with this for the last few years and it just bugs me. I don't like it. I think it's ugly. Um, so I always thinking about another solution. <laughs> then I caught wind. My buddy Joe has a uh, 3D printer. And I'm like, hey, I could just print those. And I gave Joe a call and asked him if I could utilize his printer. And he was like, sure. And he sent me the software. And when I first opened it up, I'm like, what the hell is this garbage? You know, it's all, uh, it's like programming. So I dug into it and uh, I figured, he, you know, Joe didn't really want me to use his printer, but I, I busted out a, a prototype in two days and uh, sent it to Joe. He was impressed, uh, at least he said he was. So I went through the design process and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate um, what that entails because it's not as difficult as you would think. So here we go. So first off, Ray Marine was very uh, kind to supply these little uh, um, schematics or, or, or uh, diagrams of their products. With uh, one was a cutout uh, page that you used to uh, to mount it. So I used the measurements off of there to uh, build my initial model, and uh, that made life a lot easier. I didn't have to run to the boat and take off the uh, the actual display. The program's called Open SCAD. And uh, when I first opened it and looked, this is what I saw. Uh, I was like, oh my God, what is this garbage? But all you have to do is uh, link up to the top into the cheats area, and I'll be dang. There's a lot of documentation, and there's a spot on the um, uh, website where you can go and get examples of work already completed. So you can. Uh, uh, very rapidly make the squares um, that you begin with. So the process of building these is basically adding and subtracting shapes to get to the uh, part you want. So I had to start with a square and uh, then I had to cut out the interior of the square and um, after that I needed uh, I needed the circle where the uh, where the display actually mounts so I used a cylinder to cut out the circle and then I had the basic shape, and this is what it looks like. Now, uh, problem with this is it's uh, it's flat. It would mount flat just as the part was, so I'll have to put an angle on the back, and all you do is create another larger square and uh, rotate it to the desired angle and use it to cut the existing square, kind of slicing it off like a saw. And this is what I ended up with. I quickly uh, realized that, of course, I can't, I have to have some bosses to mount to. So uh, I used the cheat sheet again, went to the website, looked for work already done, and found some example of uh, screw bosses. So I created four of those and located them internally on the piece. And those uh, would allow the screws to uh, touch the firewall, you know, not be free floating. And after I got this chunk of the design done, I realized, you know, that's not enough support. Those are gonna snap right off. So then I engineered the supporting structure piece and uh, that's what it looks like here. So 
I was very happy with this prototype, sent it up to Joe. He was quite surprised that I got it up to him so quick, and he began the printing process. Um, his 3D printer has a hard time doing, uh, I think it's angles over 45 degrees, and as you can see, I have a I have a, a curve surface, so uh, that part is going to look kind of rough. But you can see right here the printer's beginning to print the part on his equipment. And after it was done, here's the finished product. I thought it turned out pretty good, although kind of rough on the surfaces. So I knew I had to do some, uh, some cleanup on that. And I'll let uh, winner Aaron take over and explain how I did that. Okay, I have my finished pieces. Um, I've sanded them because they, they were kind of rough plastic. Uh, the guy that printed them for me told, warned me not to use an electric sander on them because of the heat that's generated would actually start melting the plastic. So I hand sanded them. And then after I apply, uh, I'm going to apply this total boat. And this is basically fairing compound. And uh, after I apply that, I did uh, hit the rough stuff with the, with the electric. And then when I got close, I went to hand sanding. And it's feeling pretty smooth right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, mix me up some more and do my other two uh, mounts. And then uh, hopefully from there, I'll have a paintable surface. So it's the next day. Um, they, they turned out pretty good. They're kind of rough all over, so I'm gonna lightly go over them with uh, with 80 grit. And um, what the goony goo goo? I'm gonna lightly go over them with 80 grit. I mean, just very lightly, and then transition to something like uh, I'm thinking 220. But this is just to, to knock off the uh, the high bits. It's, and it's pretty aggressive, so it's doing a pretty good job. We got the sander on very low speed. So here's my finished product. Watch me paint it. Now it's time to install. I just started removing the face plate from my instruments. Now, why is it pop? Oh, so, uh, here you go. Here's the finished product. Me and Aaron got these installed. Made our little trip go faster though. We're almost to Chambers Island. But uh, I think it's got a more sanitary look, more asylum-y. Kind of fits in with my crazy. But uh, I'm liking it. So leave me a like and a thumbs up and all that garbage. And uh, tell me your opinion in the comments. Did I do a good job? From plastic printer to, uh, to homemade uh, boat display mount. I guess that's what they're called. Have a great day, folks. Peace out.